Hello. Today I'd like to talk to you about color dominance when knitting brioche cables. If you're not familiar with how to knit brioche cables, I recommend you go check out my brioche right cross and brioche left cross videos to learn how to do those first. So when you're knitting brioche cables, sometimes your contrast color yarn or your color B yarn can come in front of your color A yarn and make it look like you've made a mistake in your cable when actually you haven't. So you can see an example of this right here. So you can see how compared to the other cable crosses that we see here, this green yarn looks much more dominant and has come to the front compared to how it looks in all of the other crosses. This is an easy thing to have happen, especially if you're working with a stickier woolly yarn. So there are two ways to fix it. One um, is here if you see it after you've finished knitting, um, you can fix it easily by taking a needle tip, or I like to use a locking stitch marker, anything with a little point, um, and poking it under that stitch and just sort of wiggling it, giving it a little tug, and pulling that yarn to the front. And you can see now that pink is back in front of the green and the pink looks more dominant again. Fixing these kinds of little mistakes as you go can make a big difference in how your final product ends up looking. I also want to show you how to fix the color dominance if you notice your color B yarn coming to the front while you're working a cable. So first I'm going to work across to my first set of cables. And now I'm working a, a brioche left cross cable or a BRLX. And you'll notice here that on this second leg of the cable that the green yarn is to the left of the pink yarn. If I don't correct this and I knit it as is, when I finish the cable that green yarn will be in front of the pink and it will make the green look more dominant. So before I worry about that I'm going to work my cable without a cable needle and switch the order of this stitch and the single green stitch. So now I need to knit into this stitch and I want to bring the green to the right of the pink. So I just use my needle tip to slip it over the pink so that it sits to the right of that stitch and then knit into it and work my slip one yarn over. And now I work the other leg of my cable, putting that back on the needle. And again, you can see that the green wants to sit to the left of the pink. Don't let your yarn over drop. And if I knit into it, um, the green is going to come a bit in front. So again, I can do the same trick I did before of uh, swapping them while they're still on the needle. Or if I notice it here, I can tip, uh, I can use the tip of the left hand needle to grab that pink strand and pull it forward so that it sits in front. Now if I work another stitch, we can see that the pink is now sitting in front of the green and it's doing that for both legs, although you can't quite see it on the right side. You'll be able to see it more as you work farther up. So I hope this helps you understand that some of that color dominance that might look like a mistake is not actually a mistake and allows you to fix it in a way that can really make a big impact on how the final product ends up looking. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful.